Hey everybody, welcome to Movie Times Movie of the Week. I'm Sean. This week's Movie of the Week was the movie It Follows. Now, I know when the trailers were coming out for this film and when it came out in theaters, I like to make fun of what the what, what the kind of plot, I guess you could say, it had and the reasons for things happening in the movie. So, I I want to state that out front. That was before I watched the film. I decided to give this one a try. I heard uh, actual different things about this that it was actually pretty decent. So I gave it a try and I gotta say my opinion has changed on this film. So to start off, this film is regarding uh, a, a girl, a young girl out of high school it seems, uh, having a sexual encounter and then now a supernatural mysterious force person, whatever you want to call it is now following her, trying to kill her, and kill the line of people that have been connected through this these sexual encounters. Now, uh, with that being said, I, I, I watched this film and I wonder at the end of it, like, is this plot, is this story supposed to be kind of the the age-old kind of stay abstinent, you know, type of uh, things that the, the, your parents teach you when you're younger. Don't have sex, you know, wait till you're in love and married. Don't just be, you know, you know, sleeping with anybody. I wonder if this is like really trying to be like some type of like warning against premarital sex. On the other hand, I also think that it was actually a pretty decent movie. There was only a few things I didn't like about the film. Otherwise, I overall really, really enjoyed this film. I thought all the kids did a good job in this film. I mean, they're kids compared to me, but they're probably all in their late teens or early 20s. They all did a really good job. They all played their part well. They were all really believable, and they all looked like they came from this, this setting, the area of Detroit. They all felt like they, they just fit right in. The, uh, there's a few other things I liked about this film that really caught my attention. First off was the music. They definitely hit a chord inside of me with the music. It felt like this film was from the old school classic horror movies from uh, 80s, 70s, like the early stuff. Not before it became what it is now in the 90s and 2000s, but some of the good old stuff that people consider classic horror films. The music was on point. The other things that I noticed about this that made me think of the older classic horror movies was that there were certain scenes that they would set up with certain camera angles or certain shots and I was like that's totally like something that I would see in uh, Friday the 13th or Halloween or something like that and I was like wow they're doing this director uh, David Robert uh, Mitchell is doing a great job with this. Now uh, with the story I thought the story wasn't too complex it was pretty straightforward the that is though one of the problems I did find with this film because throughout the film it, it's going with this whole like uh, she's tortured because she doesn't know when she's gonna get caught or found or the thing is gonna catch up to her and then it, she's like just can't sleep she can't live it's, it's bothering her it's torturing her but then at the same time they start doing some like detective work where they're going to this person to that way this way to this place and they're trying to figure things out and I thought with that, with their, they're changing the, the path of the film, I thought they were going to go along that and kind of give us a little bit of history or at least resolve the situation. But um, it, it didn't go exactly how I thought it was going to go. So with that, I was a little disappointed that it didn't go how I thought it was going to go. Now, overall though, still, even with that little blemish on there, I thought this film was very much enjoyable. I did think that it was a little weird when they finally showed the supernatural presence actually kill somebody. It was like humping the boy, like dry humping him, but then it was like semen was coming out of her pores, touching him and electrocuting him, but sucking him dry of his life or something along those lines. It was kind of weird because the first death that they show in the entire film, in the first I don't know, five minutes of the film, no, no spoiler here, is like nothing even remotely similar to this death. So I'm wondering, I really wish that when they started going on that different path, they kind of explained something a little bit more. There's aspects to this supernatural power being that make you think it's all in their head, but it actually physically harms them, so it can't be. And then it actually can harm other people. You see it harm other people in the film. So you gotta wonder what is really going on and they never touch on that in the the way that I wanted them to. So 
I, I thought that was a little bit of a downfall right there. Other than that, though, I thought the film was really good, really uh, suspenseful. I, I liked it. It is a good movie to get you like, oh, shoot. Um, this is like, oh, wow. Like, it's a good movie for Halloween time. Now, at the same time, though, it's not a good movie to watch before you go out to the bar on a Friday night. This movie is in Redbox right now, you guys. Uh, I definitely recommend you checking it out, especially this time of the year. It was a, it was quite a pleasant surprise, and at, I don't take back any jokes I said about this film because they all still stand true, at least in certain aspects, but um, I did enjoy the film. All right, guys, so that's it for Movie Times Movie of the Week. Remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section. Let's have a great conversation this week. We'll see you next time. Peace.